You are not going to live in lack anymore. These seasons that you've experienced with little, these seasons that you've experienced in poverty, in lack, in in delay are no more, beloved. Hello, beloved people of God. It's Deja and welcome back to my channel. So I want to go ahead really quickly and try and leave with, leave with you guys a prophetic word and encouragement that the Lord blessed me with after an experience that I had yesterday. So I was driving on the highway and I was just getting off the highway. And as I was getting off the highway, I decided to let my windows down so I can get some fresh air instead of having the AC blow on me. And um, I'm waiting at the light and I have my windows down and there is a bee that came out of nowhere. And at first I'm just like, oh, I don't want this bee to get in my car. You know, I'm just getting off the exit on the highway. I don't want anything to happen. I don't want to freak out. As I was pondering that bee in that situation and putting my windows up, the Lord highlighted to me the bee. And at first, I wasn't 100% sure that the Lord was speaking to me through the bee um, or even what the bee may represent. But then the Lord showed me or showed me the back of the per, um the back of the person's car window that was in front of me and on their car window were two stickers about bees and i was like okay lord this is confirmation what is it that you're trying to say to me some of you may or may not know that bees in the bible represent fertility in a land it also represents the land of flowing with milk and honey um, it it um, also represents blessings, okay, because bees produce honey and honey often in the Bible was described or used as to represent blessings, abundance, something sweet, something good, and um, provision from God, obviously. Also, I just want to point out that all of this came after me spending like a good 20, 30 minutes praying to the Lord um, just to speak for him to speak to me and give me give me um, prophetic insight, you know, a word to deliver to his people and also a word for myself in the season that I'm in. And uh, after the Lord showed me um, the bees and what the bees represented or showed me the bees themselves, um, I was like, okay, Lord, what else, what else, what else, um, what else do you want me to grab onto in this moment? And the Lord highlighted to me the person's license plate, beloved. And the person's license plate had the numbers 777. And um, we also know that 777 is God's numbers. We know that um, 7 is the number of victory can also represent victory. And after doing further research, I was able to find another meaning for 777. And it reads this, multiple sevens, 777 or 7777, were involved in Israel's victory in Jericho. It was the first battle God's people waged west of the Jordan River to possess their inheritance in the promised land beloved i don't know exactly who this word is for today but i know that god is moving many of his people into their promised land now is the time now is that kairos moment we are being moved into our promised land and that milk and honey that you're beginning to see in your life glory be to god because i know that there's a lot of other people that are experiencing experiencing this now but the provision that is meeting us the provision that's taking place the answered prayers that are coming forth and beloved don't think that the blessings that you're getting the provision that you're experiencing now the people the contacts the extra finances the bills being paid the, the debts being cleared beloved don't count these coincidence okay god is moving in your life he's preparing everything before you he's answering those prayers because you are about to be delivered into your promised land your land that is flowing with milk and honey okay we're walking into our land our promised land now beloved 
And God is saying this land that I am blessing you with is going to flow with milk and honey. It's going to be a fertile land. Glory be to God. You are not going to live in lack anymore. These seasons that you've experienced with little, these seasons that you've experienced in poverty, in lack, in, in delay, are no more beloved once you reach your promised land all the things that you've been praying to god for the business the uh the uh financial breakthrough beloved the kingdom marriages all of these things beloved are coming to pass either now before you reach that promised land or they they're in your promised land this is the land that's flowing with milk and honey, beloved. The Lord has so much in store for you in this time, in this season of your life, whoever this word is for. So the Lord is just telling us to be prepared. He's telling us to get ready. He's telling us to worship him now, to thank him now, to be we should have already been obedient, but be obedient to the to the steps that he's calling you to take as you reach, as you walk into that promised land. This word serves as confirmation to you. Uh, let me know down in the comment section down below. Let me know by putting a little B or putting sevens, whatever it is that um, spoke out to you. Let me know down in the comment section down below. If you feel led to sow into this promised land word, you can sow using any of the links down in the description box. Um, I am praying over every single seed. God bless you guys for sowing. And I just know that abundance is going to take place. It's flowing through your lives right now in the name of Jesus. If you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe right now. Turn on your bell notifications so that you know every time that I post. Make sure that you like this video. And yeah. I love you guys all so much. If this word resonated with you, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love to see that you guys um, are blessed by these words and they serve as confirmation because a lot of us are in this season right now. All right. I love you all so much and you have a very blessed day and I'll see you in my next video.